Hello everybody, welcome back to Ordinary Adventures. We are back yet again at City Walk at Universal Studios Hollywood. Yeah, we weren't expecting to come back so soon, but Vivo Italian Kitchen has reopened. We'll get the updates. We'll see if there's any new merch. Come with us on this adventure. One of my favorite features of the City Walk here at Universal Hollywood is there's a huge dragon over here and I feel like I never notice it. We came up here to record our intro and it's just so cool. I love him. Who is he? What is his name? Does he have a story? He's a red dragon. How often do you see a red dragon? I mean, every time we come to City Walk. Every time we come to City Walk, we need to get an update on the NBC Sports Grill Brew. <laughs> Which, by the way, some people make fun of us. They're like, why are you so excited? Honestly, I don't care about the NBC aspect of it. They just have really good food. We've been there to the one in Orlando, and just trust me, it is amazing. Who would have thought? Not me. And it looks like the only real update since the last time we were here is they put a bunch of tables out, so that, that has got me hopeful. Yeah, the inside looks like it's almost completely done. There's some paper on the floor, keeping the floors pristine. I feel like this is going to open sometime this month. Fingers crossed so we could get that sweet, sweet NBC food in our bellies. <laughs> you can't even tell. I'm like cracking myself up under here and I just look like the invisible man or something. I can't read. Almost, oh, almost, I got a drop on there. It's funny, the Jamba Juice over at Downtown Disney has been remodeled as just Jamba, but over here at City Walk, we still got the OG Jamba Juice. It doesn't even look open, huh? Doesn't look like there's anybody there. I was really wanting a pizza, Peter. What the heck? So it looks like they are not open. Looks like they're, re they're ready to reopen. I mean, they're clearly not open, right? <laughs> there's a big sign blocking the entrance. Maybe they, they open at a certain time? Hmm. Oh, it's only open Friday to Sunday. So should we just come back Friday then? Because I really wanted to eat here. Sometimes you make a plan, and sometimes that plan does not come together the way you thought. And sometimes half of the known people in the world are snapped out of existence. Well, we're back, and it looks like they are indeed open and serving pizzas. Wow, it's a very limited menu. Like I said, very limited. They have five pizzas and two side salads and a couple different beverages. They did give me a little wipe to <laughs> disinfect my bottle of soda. And they have the seating on the patio open and it's almost like a quick serve where you actually order at the register over there and they give you a number where they'll come deliver your food to you. But you pay before you sit down. Yeah, this is a lot different since the last time we were here. We actually filmed a video. They invited us out because they were doing like a tasting menu. And if you've never seen that video, check it out. They had so many different like drinks and pastas and desserts and all these like amazing things. And now it's literally, like he said, just pizzas and salad and like <laughs> bottled Corona and bottled like Bud Light. And I mean, you know me, I had to get a Corona. It's another hot day today and this just seemed nice and refreshing. I've never disinfected a soda bottle before, but better safe than sorry. <laughs> Wait, disinfect my beer. Well, I'm sure the alcohol gets rid of all the viruses, right? That's what's in the hand sanitizer, right? Yeah, that's that's why I got this, because <laughs> it protects me. <laughs> yeah, you should just be pouring Corona on your hands. Wow, um, I didn't even think of this when I ordered this, but I got a Corona. I feel like people like to make fun of City Walk, but I think I might like City Walk 
aside from the World of Disney store, I might like City Walk better than Downtown Disney. Is that a hot take? I think what I like is I like that it's themed. It feels like a theme park shopping district. Downtown Disney kind of feels just like an outdoor mall. They deliver it in a box. So if you wanted to just grab one and go, you definitely could. And they give us some like disposable um, dishware and napkins and all that good stuff. Oh, it's so cute. I'm really glad that we got two of them. We originally were just gonna get one, but I think I could like easily eat this entire, this entire like who am I kidding? I'm not gonna pretend like, you know, this is probably the perfect amount. I ended up getting the pepperoni pizza, clearly. It's just cheese and pepperoni. It actually smells really, really good. So I got the margarita pizza. This has buffalo, mozzarella, San Marzano, tomatoes, basil, and extra virgin olive oil. Ah, okay, I'm excited to try this. I'm gonna try mine before yours. It's been a while since I've had like a wood-fired pizza. Like it's been since before the pandemic started. So this just tastes like a really good wood-fired margarita pizza. I can't give it a rating until I get to the crust because the crust will make or break a good pizza, I think. Or will make a br <laughs> A crust will make or break a pizza. Do you know what I mean? Like, you, you can't have it too hard, you, need, you can't have it too soft. It's good. I give it like a four out of five Peters. Is it exceptional? No. Is it a good wood fire pizza? Yes. And it's actually a pretty good value. for Get a pizza for like 12 bucks? Yeah, that's not, not bad. bad. Not a bad deal. So my pizza is just obviously mozzarella cheese, pepperoni, and tomato sauce. I don't normally... <laughs> uh, I saw that coming and I was trying to move it before these are very small tables and they put like a lot of stuff on the table uh, stop filming me this isn't funny there's glass everywhere which pots luckily there's like not a lot of people here so it wasn't that embarrassing I just feel bad that I have to clean it now <laughs> hey, what was I saying you were, you were telling us about your pizza. Yeah, I got a pepperoni pizza. It's got pepperonis on it. Look at it. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, I'm so embarrassed. Okay, let's try this pizza. I think what I was trying to say before is I don't normally order pepperoni pizza. I'm normally, like, we're both very um, boring. <laughs> like we usually, we could go to the most amazing pizza place in the world and we will get like a margarita pizza or a cheese pizza. So I wanted to branch out a little and try something that I wouldn't normally get. And it is very good. You could see like the like the pepperoni or like you know what I mean? Like the the oil kind of yeah. dripping off. The pepperoni juice. <laughs> this is really, really good. I'm pleasantly surprised. I hate to do this, but I'm giving it a five. I don't care. <laughs> it's so good. It's just a very, very good, like you said, a very, very good wood fire pizza. Now the question is. What's the chances that you get some tomato sauce on your white t-shirt? I think the odds are pretty, pretty slim. Yes. Or no, they're pretty high. <laughs> There's a reason why we don't wear white t-shirts. Yeah, I never wear, I'm trying to like branch out and wear more, you know, not just black all the time, but yeah, we'll find out. Stay tuned to see if I spill grease or tomato sauce on my shirt or beer for that matter. <laughs> <laughs> I love that we're not even using the silverware that they gave us, like the plates and stuff. We're just using the boxes. Because that's how you eat a pizza. I still think I like Dis Downtown Disney better. And it has so many like delicious treats and stuff. So I think that like puts it just like an edge over City Walk. Like if City Walk brought out a butter beer cart or like something from inside the park that I'd really want, then it might go above. You know what I find weird is that there's no pasta here right now with this limited menu. Like. I feel like pasta is like easy to make, right? Like, actually, pizza is more hands-on. I'm gonna have to ask some. Let's get to get the answer. <laughs> free, free the pasta. Hashtag free the pasta. Yeah, I was just trying to think up, come up with like a cool hashtag. So I asked, and they wouldn't tell me why they don't have pasta. But they did say this is the soft opening. We're here on only the third day of them being open because they're only open Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. So. 
if you come here, don't make the mistake that we made and come here during the weekday yeah. uh, expecting to get some pizza. Although, I think Blaze Pizza is now open. Are they open every all week or is it only Friday, Saturday, Sunday? We'll put it on the screen. I don't know. Oh my God. They actually have the red carpet out and the doors are open. I think they're filming a commercial. I wonder what the commercial is that they're filming. Hmm. It's interesting. Yeah, they had this big camera and they were filming the globe, but the globe's not spinning, so I'm just so curious. It has been so long since this red carpet has been out here. And that kind of gives me hope. It gives me hope that this place might actually reopen. Let's go check out the Universal store because I heard that they might have some magical masks. Last time we were here, I think they just had Gryffindor. Now they have all the houses. They have Slytherin, Ravenclaw, and most importantly, they have Hufflepuff. I'm gonna get one. Everybody says that the Universal Studios masks are like the best that you could possibly get and Disney's are the worst. So I think I'm gonna get a large Universal Studios mask. It's funny here over in the retro merch section, they have a sign here saying that it's celebrating our anniversary, July 1964 which I guess that means, how many years is that? I don't know, is that when they started the tram tour? I don't know. That would be... <laughs> Can't do math. 56 years. What kind of anniversary is 56 years? I feel like they produced these for Universal Studios in Orlando and then they just said it was for this. Well, what is the anniversary there? I think it's like 30? 30? Yeah. yeah. Whatever, I'll take it. I'll take Orlando's rejects. <laughs> I love this merch. So the last time we were here, they only had the, the Jaws glass, but now they have E.T., now they have Back to the Future, they have King Kong, they have everything. And they also have this denim jacket right here, which is actually kind of interesting. If you ever see the Universal letters in this pink or red, that's actually the Universal Studios in Florida. That's not actually what? the Universal Studios here. The Hollywood one, you'll notice, has the, the, the yellow. So this is basically just Hall like Florida's leftovers. Breaking news. I'm not quite sure if these are actually new or not, but I've personally never noticed them before. They sell spirit jerseys here. Look at this one. This one looks a lot like the one that we just saw when we were at Downtown Disney. Like it's the same colors and everything. And then they have a rose gold one. And they just have a red and silver one. I don't know, I kind of like these. And here's a look at what the front of the spirit jersey looks like. I like that it's like a little bit glittery. And it looks like they've added lanyard pouches for the Universal Studios Hollywood retro logo. I feel like once the park reopens, I'll for sure get one of those for my annual pass. Not right now though. And they're actually doing a deal right now that if you buy $175 or more, you get a free Harry Potter wand. Montgomery Fletcher, Black. Lavender Brown, and Kate Brown. Bell. I consider myself kind of a Harry Potter fan. Like I wouldn't say I'm a fanatic, but I didn't recognize any one of the free wands. But it's a free wand, it's a free wand, so. Yeah, it's a very strange selection, but like part of me was like, hmm. Should we spend $175? Get a free wand. That's like a $60, it's like a $60 value. I know we don't have that kind of money and we're not, don't worry, we're not doing it. But the thought did go through my mind, put it that way. <laughs> so a lot of you out there have been sending me these messages of this study that was done on masks and their effectiveness during this global situation. And they it found that the gator mask, you know, the like the scarf that goes around your head are like the least effective out of any of the masks because the material is just so breathable. The the gator mask that I have is actually actually has a filter compartment in there, so technically it, I'm guessing it was probably more effective than just a cotton mask, but because I'm on th this channel in front of thousands of people, I don't want to lead people out there to think like wearing a gator mask without a filter is an okay thing to do. So I bought this Universal Studios mask it's a large let's see looks like it fits how does, does it, it fit? feel it feels like nice this is like smooth material it looks good yeah yay so this might be my new go-to mask and look at that my 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 glasses aren't fogging good sign this feels so nice why didn't you tell me hey, sooner? I did. <laughs> I already know how awesome these masks are, so it was a no-brainer for me that I had to get 
this Hufflepuff one because I am a Hufflepuff. <laughs> a Hufflepuff. It's my biggest personality trait. Oh yeah. I got a size medium for reference. Peter got a size large. These masks out of all the theme park masks that we've tried so far, they fit the best. They don't hurt. They're like comfortable. How does it look? It looks amazing. I actually kind of like it. I, I ended up buying another one because there was a deal for three for $20. So they suckered me into it. Did you get your annual pass discount as well? No, they don't take annual pass discounts on the masks. Everything else though, they take it on. But it was only $4 more, so I got the Hello Kitty one as well. Pretty cute. So there wasn't much in terms of new merchandise there, but we did learn that there is a new store open here in Universal City Walk, Hollywood. When does the new store open? And we didn't even hear about it. It's called Production Central. Let's go check it out. I've never seen this towel before. Looks like a giant E.T. towel. <laughs> it looks like Pixel. It does look like Pixel. I've been going through this phase lately where I want to buy like all new towels for the house. You guys ever go through that kind of thing? And I was thinking we could get all like movie beach towels. That could be cool. <laughs> and they're celebrating the 35th anniversary of Back to the Future here. So they have a lot of Back to the Future merchandise. I don't think any of this is new, except for maybe this hoodie that says Back to the Future 35 and it looks like it converts into a bag. That's kind of cool. Have you ever thought to yourself, man, I really want an autographed photo of Michelle Rodriguez from Fast and the Furious fame? This store has got you covered. Not only do they have one, they have like five different ones you could choose from. And they are all around like $200. So, so, you're, th so you're saying I should get you this for Christmas? Yeah, I mean, I don't know. The, the question is like, which one do I want? They're all so awesome. We'll just have to get you all of them. There we go. Problem solved. Looks like I spoke too soon. My, my glasses are all fogging up. I might have to put like a like a paper clip in here or something because it's... You just have bad luck. I'm just a heavy breather. And I even if, if I breathe through my nose, my, I, I've read all the tips. You know what I just bought online? I bought the spray that you can spray in your glasses and it's supposed to like anti-fog. I'm not sure if it's going to work. It, it's being shipped to me now. Looks like a lot of this merch is stuff from the park. So here's like merch for Fast and the Furious Supercharge. And here's some stuff from Jaws. It seems like each one of these displays has a new property. So this is like Bates Motel. This one right here is Jurassic Park. Strangely not Jurassic World. Just the original movie. Promise you we're not going to buy any dog clothes in this video. But I did find, I think, the perfect shirt for Pixel. I think it's something that she would really like. You ride, you fight. <laughs> <laughs> if that doesn't say pixel, I don't know what does. By the way, what parent buys that for their kids? I, I mean, apparently me. I wanted to buy it for my dog. Does that count? There's so much cool stuff in here. Ironically cool stuff. Like, I've never seen this sold inside Universal before. But there's this giant cross necklace. I'm assuming that's something kind of like Vin Diesel's character wears in Fast and the Furious. Like there's even a little charm on here that says FF for Fast and the Furious. So this is like the official, what's his character's name? Dom. Dom. This is Dom Toretto's. You know what that convinced me? I believe you. Did you see this? <laughs> yeah. These are awesome. I got shark fanny packs. And they're big too. You could put a lot of stuff in there. Would you wear a shark fanny pack? Yes. What kind of question is that? Of course, who wouldn't wear a shark fanny pack? I mean, this guy. We could get matching ones. Why don't you ever <laughs> want to wear shark fanny packs with me, Peter? <laughs> I just realized that the zipper is the shark mouth. Perfect. When we were at Halloween Horror Nights last year, Tristan Eden was there signing posters of his artwork for the Universal Monsters. And here they actually have some skateboard decks, I think with its artwork and they also have some t-shirts. Look at this, they're selling Halloween costumes. They've got Bumblebee and they've got Optimus Prime. Where's Megatron? Why does Megatron get no respect around here? Oh, I kind of like this mug. <laughs> you really? Yeah, look at it. No, seriously, look at the front. It's got Kong holding the tram. Oh, that is kind of cool. Right? I like how big it is. Kong 360 3D. He's never been this real. I've never seen this couple. Have they always sold this? I don't know, I haven't seen it. It's kinda cool. Just so you know, they even have changing rooms back here, so if you wanna try something on, I guess you can 
check it out. Over in the other store, I pointed out the ticket holders. Here they actually have a neck strap that you can attach that ticket holder to. So you can have a whole matching universal retro, you know, ticket holding outfit. <laughs> I like how it says, see the stars, ride the movies. That was like the old like tagline for the theme park. I feel like this is a great new addition to the stores here at City Walk. I wish there was more of like a variety. But that being said, there are some stuff in here that I've never seen before. So this was like a pleasant surprise. So it paid off that we had to come back today. If we were here on Tuesday, this wouldn't have been open. I love this sign. There's too many people in this world like this. Everybody needs to be more like this guy. Okay, so we're back at home because I messed up and I shot the remainder <laughs> of the trip on slow motion. It's okay. It happens. It happens. It was very hot out. Yeah, it was really hot out. Anyways, we want to thank our Patreons because without these guys, we couldn't be continuing this adventure. Yes, thank you all so much. And we'd like to thank our Jedi Knights. That includes Kent and Jason Smithson. And also Kendall, Helmstetter, Gellner, and Gerardo. We just hit 800 patrons on Patreon, which means we're actually going to do a home tour. Yeah. The most requested video in the history of Ordinary Adventures. We're going to do it, just we're not sure when, but don't worry, we're, it's coming now. And another thing we unlocked is we unlocked the special offer where you can get one of these stickers if you are a patron in the first two weeks. I think that's going to be ending soon, so yeah. get your butt <laughs> off the couch and, you know, hit uh, patronize. Yeah, do that. Thank you guys. And if you want to watch our previous Adventures to City Walk, we'll put the videos right over there. Go check them out. We Thanks. promise they're not in slow motion. <laughs> Maybe some of them. Yeah. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll, we'll see, see you on, on the, the next, next adventure. adventure. I don't understand. Why did you like pick up your drink and then go and smash it on the floor? Because I was just so excited for this pizza. <laughs> I was like, feels like I'm in Italy. Flip the table. Yeah. <laughs>